Welcome to the channel and this first part in a new series for Reforged Eden 1.7 in Imperium Galactic Survival. Now I'm aware many people don't like long introductions, so if you want to jump forward there will be timestamps. One will take you through to the beginning of the game setup process, but if you want to get straight into the gameplay just follow the relevant timestamp. We decided to remain. This introduction will consist of two parts. The first part will be an overview of um, Reforged Eden and why we're playing it. The second part will be the actual game setup process, which will be slightly long winded because I'll be talking a little bit about the different options uh, with relation to difficulty. And then, of course, eventually we'll get straight into the gameplay. Why Reforged Eden? Well, I've been waiting several months now for Reforged Eden 1.7 to come out, and I've had numerous requests to play Reforged Eden. I'll be completely upfront. I I haven't played it for, well, over a year because I've been a bit more fixated on Project Eden, and I'm aware that a lot has changed. So I think this is the right time now to jump back into Reforged Eden, to see if I can come to terms with the shipbuilding mechanics. The 1.7 update has, has also introduced major changes with respect to shield generators. So it's going to be quite good fun to be able to get in and do that. Another reason why I want to do Reforged Eden is I know the the main mission has been reworked and what I would really like to do is just get out and explore the planet and, and I suppose that is a good um, segue into what the objectives of this series is going to be. Now what I want to try and do is make as much progress in the beginning so that we can get off the planet and start to explore the galaxy because even though the 1.7 update has shrunk the size of the galaxy. I think Vermilion removed about 20,000 stars, but there's still a lot of stars to explore. So that is going to be the objective of this series, is to try and get out, get do, do quite a lot of shipbuilding, and hopefully build up a little bit of library of um, Reforged Eden POIs. Now, the other thing I want to mention just before we get started, and I'll probably mention it again later on in, in this video, is that I'm looking for a good Reforged Eden starter SV so that we can get off, get mobile and possibly get off the planet as quickly as possible. So if any of you, any of you guys have got a good suggestion for a, a starter SV, the, the simpler the better so that we can get mobile as quickly as possible. And I think that covers the initial introduction. So we're just now going to go and start game single player of course, we've got to select scenario. You can see I've already selected Reforged Eden 1.7. What we'll do start with, I'm just going to call this uh, Reforged Eden 1.7. Set that up there. Now, the game mode is survival because, of course, we like that. The seed, well, it's random. We've got absolutely no idea. I'm going to come back to the difficulty settings in a little while. The planet size is predefined by the starting location. Now, in Reforged Eden, the same as in Project Eden, there are a lot of start options. And if we just go through, you've got a whole section of easy. I don't want to play easy. What we're going to be doing is playing medium. In fact, we will be playing medium arid. But I'm just going to go through the other options while, while we're actually looking at this. Now, I did consider Swamp, but um, Spange is doing Swamp. If you play on Odd Tempera, you don't get the missions. And I do want to do the missions because I know they've been changed, which is a little bit unfortunate like that. And then, of course, you've got the Snow the snow Start here as well, which is, but you can see with the Snow Start, which is my previous Project Eden series, you can see you actually get the default missions. Then, of course, if you go on to here, now the problem with hard is that they're, they're very interesting starts, but they're very they're reasonably slow starts. And again, if you if I flip through them, you'll see that they none of them actually have the the necessary missions. Although this has got custom missions on it, I think that's because it is fairly hostile. I might just flip back as well. Ocean is a fun start if you if you're looking for a, a, something that's a bit different and you're not too worried about making lots and lots of progress. I think just for completeness, we'll just get through to the very hard here. One day I will do this. I've had numerous uh, requests for this, and it is fun to do it. And I think the, which is the one old bunker, and then you've got Rogue here, which is the crash transport. And then what you've got is Ultra Dark Road, which is effectively you're playing in the dark, which while it would be fun to do, it's completely inappropriate for a YouTube channel because 
the game's dark enough as it is without actually playing with no sunlight and no solar panel and pitch black. And, and then, of course, what this this is a new one that seems to have appeared as well, which is Hard Dry Desert. And I did consider playing it. In fact, I, I played about half an hour of it. And it is a fairly interesting start, but again, it's got no missions. And you can see this one is actually in the beta system. Get back to here, you can see that Arid is actually in the beta system. So there's a possibility that we may be able to visit that dry desert planet. So we're going to be playing medium Arid. You can see the planet size now is medium. And you can see it starts with the escape pod, equipment basic, missions default, solar system beta. And you can see parched map, mountains, rugged savanna, grueling plains, shriveled lake beds, and with the remains of once thriving planet and animal life, hot, dry, and you can see what's well, actually unbelievable. So if we come over here, it says planet difficulty easy, gravity slightly ne less than normal, temperature range is um, six degrees to 125 degrees. So we won't have to worry about cold. And of course, we, because we're starting on a planet with no atmosphere, we actually do get a suit, but, but the suit will not protect us against 125 degrees. There's some radiation, atmospheric density, um, one uh, O2 concentration 19%. So, therefore, it says it's breathable. We've got resources iron, copper, silicon, promethium, and gold, which is a pretty good selection for a starter planet. And you can see here the starting planet is Omicron. And what we're going to do now is take a look at the difficulty settings. Now, the difficulty settings when you play um, Reforged Eden and Project Eden aren't so important than when you're playing the base game. But again, even by saying that, that a lot of these settings, especially on the left hand side, only relate to the initial survival, not so much when the game goes on. Of course, on the right hand side, things are a little bit different. Now, starting equipment with the arid planet, it doesn't vary that much between easy, hard and medium simply because you need certain equipment to survive like a, a suit i think you've got to get a temperature regulator i don't think we get a, a personal constructor though or portable constructor actually that's what i should call it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave the starting equipment on medium i think what we might do is just get a little bit more oxygen than hard but i personally i think the starting equipment is not quite so relevant as it used to be now, Keep Inventory on Death was introduced with, uh, I can't think it was the last uh, release of Imperium, I think. What this does is give you an option for different combinations when you die. Nothing used to be the default, which meant when you died, you, you dropped a backpack, and therefore to get back what was in your suit, you had to go and recover the backpack. And to be honest, this is what I've, all, I've always played. But I thought in this series, just for something a bit different, I don't want to pick up everything, but I think the toolbar items only partly because I just get fed up of rearranging the toolbar, even though the, the, there is now a feature that when you pick your backpack up, it puts your toolbar items back in again. So for, for a little bit of a change, we're going to put toolbar items only. And I think also with respect to Reforged Eden, where the battles can be a bit more hostile, being able to keep some of your weapons, even if you don't have all the ammunition, uh, is quite useful. Player progression and degradation Stats were leave as normal. In fact, we'll leave all these as normal. Food consumption, oxygen consumption, temperature, radiation impact, we'll leave those as normal. Resources, I think, were we'll leave these as normal as well. Um, and I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of auto miners. In fact, I always tend to forget where they are. So we'll just leave auto miner depletion on. I'm just going to skip over the enemies. And of course, what we are going to do is we're going to switch on mass and volume and CPU. I think uh, block limit, certain devices, false. I think that'd be okay. Blueprint, spool limit, false. We're not planning on doing too much of that. Uh, constructors, craft speed, and blueprint speed. This just relates to how fast the constructor goes. Well, I, d I think even on fast, unless you, I think it can go to instant, which is about the only thing. Uh, I'll just leave it on normal. So this just leaves enemies. Now this is going to be a bit difficult because normally I would play on hard, but of course the hostiles are a lot more aggressive in Reforged Eden. And as I've already mentioned, I'm a little bit out of date. So at the moment I'm a bit inclined just to leave these on medium. Now drone base attacks is not particularly a big issue for me because if any of you follow my series, you know that you will know that I'm not particularly a big person for bases once we got past the initial building 
of a capital ship um influence the overall number of drones so just present on a planet i uh, I, I, my inclination is to leave that normal the difficulty is hard easy again i think we'll leave the enemy difficulty on medium as well I, and i don't particularly want to be dying every every five minutes so i think we'll just leave those on medium i think we can change these settings later on if we wanted to so i think that is about it so i think all we got to do now is just click start and i'll see you once the we crash to the surface with our escape pod so here we are, we are crashing towards the surface of the planet. Got to make sure we don't land in the water. I think there looks like there's some wreckage down here, which could be a very useful start. So uh, just go down here. The water's going to be quite useful because we need to generate oxygen. And hopefully we might be able to create a water generator. We've discovered some wreckage for 300 points. That's a good start. A couple of trees here as well, which is crash to the ground here big time press f to escape just wait for it to come there now you can see a prologue journey into the unknown you've awoken on in a damaged escape pod injured and alone after plummeting through the atmosphere of an unknown world there's no memory of how you got here how little at your disposal the cracking your suits radio puts on a path towards answers somewhere in the wilderness of the alien planet we're, we're going to do the mission so we're going to click in here now, one thing you need to be aware of is that the start in Reforged Eden is different from vanilla. And obviously the AI is looking for something. If you come into here, you'll see that we've already got the resources we need in here. Now, the top things at the top are kind of information tabs, which you don't necessarily need. Uh, we we need, we got a survival tool, got three bandages, got 10 oxygen, a couple of health packs uh took a little bit about health later on we got an atmospheric condenser thermal regulator and we got a little bit of medication and uh, a couple of keep one of those now energy bars don't give health they just give food and stamina got a couple of biofuels as well so let's just have a look around and see what we got in fact uh, i think because we're going to be in this area for a little while Let's get over towards this wreckage here and we're just going to deploy the as we get go the way we intend to carry on now when you're using this uh, oxygen generator don't put lots and lots in this when you're not going to be in a fixed position i'm just going to put one in that will create a little bit of oxygen all you need to do is just wait for this to run out before you move on um just come in here and of course the survival tools got defense mode resource mode salvage mode detector oops we just found wow got 2000 odd we've now reached level two which should be good because our first priority needs to be the uh, portable constructor which is there so and to get that we need 12 five iron ore so let's just wander around i'm not going to worry too much about the wreckage just at the moment where well we can pick it out as we go around and first things first but pick up some plant protein pick up some herbal um what we call it and the alien thorn is good we can trade that once we find the palon talon of course the plants have changed now we've got eight plant fibers i'm just come out here not seeing any iron or anything around here at the moment that means we're probably going to need to pick up some of these but we still need the uh, basic iron to be able to uh, make the portable constructor so that's going to be our first thing and uh, just grab some vegetables well some plant get that going come on you can you can do it game you can do it and do is uh you know, we can knock out uh one bandage one of those uh just eat that as well got some creatures over there but there's no point worrying about those just to start with well i suppose we better start digging because of course we got a suit on as well 
never remember where the actual... I think it might be actually in here, actually. Just have a dig through. See if we can find it. Got a small iron deposit, actually 64. Ah. I mean, it's just here. I didn't really need to dig out. I really like that small iron deposit. That will allow us to get some iron ore and some steel plates. <laughs> We're going to go for that iron deposit. Does that allow us to make a portable constructor? We don't have to dig it all out from the get-go. We can always come back. We're going to be in this area for a little while. Yeah. Have some fruits. Quite surprising to get iron this close to the detector actually. No, we don't. We don't need that. The more just keep having that. Uh, well. Bronze right on top now. Plunge straight down into the ground. Of course, using the survival tool is a little bit time consuming. I've forgotten how what <laughs> starting out with this game is like. Um, right, well, I think we're getting a little bit closer to the iron now. There we are. We're in the iron ore now. I don't want to pick up too much until we've got the portable constructor. I think we've got enough to be going on with for the moment. Because you can't carry that much. And what we do need to do is get that there. One thing we don't have. Oh, we got we got the heat thermal regulator we need as well. And put that down there. And we'll make a couple more, some more of those. Actually, we'll take that out. And we're just eating up one of these. Now we need to recover our health, but I don't really want to use the health packs unless I have to. Now, if we can, we got any herbal leaves. We got some herbal leaves, so we can, we can risk maybe eating. Oh, if we can eat the fruit, actually, that would give us a bit of health. Now, early on in the game, you can risk eating raw vegetables but one thing you don't want to do is eat raw meat because that will give you indigestion now as part of the 1.7 update the medicines have been reworked and so you need to be a little bit aware of that because if i come into here and let's just show you we just well let's just stand here while i show you what you will see is if we look at these you can see you get a percentage for a cure. So unlike the pro ordinary Project Eden or normal, what you get is a probability. So if I show you here, what you will get is the herbal leaves has got a 25% with respect to indigestion and food poisoning. So if you get indigestion, what that will show up, and then it will take a long time to go away. But if you take some herbal leaves, it goes a little bit quicker. Um, no, I didn't mean to do that. We need to take that off and put onto there. And I think while we're here, I don't think I've dug this one out. So, uh, just see if we can dig this one out before we. Again, it's a question of finding where the. I've got a feeling it's the other end. Because normally it's. Uh, let me just have a look down the other end. There it is there. Dig this out a little bit so we can get down to it. It's around this side. I think it's there oh we got a multi-charge that's going to be useful um, <laughs> gotta get out now this is where is my
Got broken antennas really nearby as well. Where did I leave my uh what we call it? I think it's just up over there. So uh just deploy this. In fact I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a second one. And we got more of those. And what by making a second one it means we got oh we got some salt. What does the salt do? An essential mineral used from everything from food to agriculture, numerous industrial applications, or they're not particularly valuable, it's always in demand, so we can sell some that as well. We can put the alien thorn in there for the moment, and that in there. Uh, the multi charge I'd like to keep with me just in case, along with the medication. Just sort this out a little bit. We do need to Kind of, we we could zap a bandage actually that gives us a hundred health. Uh, we're in a position now to make bandages if should we need them. We can get some more plant fiber. In fact, I can get some plant fiber. What we do need is uh, we need the resources to make that carbon substrate, which means we need plant fiber. I think to make we need plant fiber, and so we've got some stone dust. Right, we're going to go and get a tree. Um, the oxygen's going down quite quickly. Okay. Um, actually, oh. can I make? No, we can't make juices in here. We can just make the ones. I think it's. Let's chop the tree down. Well, we should be able to cut up a tree. We got three wood. Get back to our little base here. And what that be able to do now, if I put that in, we should be able to make some biofuel, which is we can make about two more of those. Um, Food wise, we can put that in there. Like a veggie drink. How are we doing for oxygen? Got four more oxygen, a little bit of water, and we're still pushing out some bits and pieces here. In fact, I think I'm just going to drop another one of those in. Let's just go and have a look around now and see what we can find. Broken antennas over there, and I think that is uh, one of our first mission objectives, so we can work this way. Uh, anything down around here? The shore is often a good place to kind of check things out. So we can grab some rocks as well. Go rock hunting. Keep an eye out for the pteropods. And we're, we'll kind of work our way over towards the broken antenna. As long as we don't fill up. It's because we've got the new waves coming in now, which look a little bit disconcerting. And we'll just come out this way. What we can find. Well, it's getting a little bit low. Uh, yeah, Tenna looks relatively good shape of miss despite missing whatever the rest of the ship is, yeah. Oh, wow. I think that might be silicon. The textures for the different minerals now has changed slightly. We've got some silicon ore, I think there's some more. Water seems to kind of float up a bit more now than it used to do. What we got there is that nope. Okay. What's this? It's just rocks. Um. Uh, 
I think we're just going excavate the the antenna. That's what it's telling us to do. Lots and lots of wreckage around here. So it's going to be pretty good. I think once we got the bike, we'll be able to kind of scout around this area and find it. So we've got to dig down. Whoops. Got to see what we can find. Wow, this is, this is pretty deep actually. Right, I think we found it. Let's ex excavate the port. Does that mean we've got to come down here in person? Looks like it. We'll have to. Right, we've excavated the port thing. We've got this little yellow triangle. Is I found the antenna the access port console. You should be able to hook on my, my suit to it. So, Commander Stephen Silverbird, look, looks like we can access the antenna's maintenance port from here. Establish con a connection with the, to the antenna. Unsupported external device detected. Updating drivers. Uh, signal received. Wait, what is going on here? Next question, Commander. And one I would be happy to supply the answer to if I knew it. Unfortunately, I have been offline since initialization. Okay, who are you? <laughs> the IDA, uh, Integrated Data Analyst. The, 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 that's Integrated Analyst, but you may call me IDA. I back up with the original UCH IDA, to be precise. Where I am is integrated into the UCH surveillance satellite in orbit above your location. So you are an AI. That is correct, Commander. My system was rebooted when I detected your escape pod's distress beacon as it entered the upper atmosphere of this planet. I have been attempting to connect to your suit's data link since you regained consciousness, but it appears my transmitter is not able to transmit on a frequency required to access your data link until you're linked with the external transceiver. Now I'm connected to your suit's computer system. I can calibrate your suit's data link so you can interface directly with your suit and provide you scanning and telemetry as is required. Okay. My original role is to utilize systems at my disposal to scan, analyze, categorize, and direct personal operations. I can do a great deal more than that, but nothing that is relevant to the current situation. As you are the only UCH personnel I have detected on the planet, I can devote as much of my processing power to assist you by coordinating your search efforts and supplying mapping data and identifying enemy crafts. I can't remember how I got here. Everything is about re reaching the Apollo station is blank. I'm looking forward to working with you. Your suit's data link is now calibrated, Commander. From now on, I shall be able to interface with your suit directly and use your sensors. I've detected uh, structures and objects where maybe answers to both your questions nearby. Disconnect from the tower. So we okay, you've received a transmission, Commander. Ah, what's, what we got to do now is get out. Actually, I've got a, I've got a jetpack, so. I can, what we're going to do now is just work our way back towards the thing. We're going to need some oxygen. Up in two of those. Pick up the protein on the way back. It's actually turning the button two, three, four. I don't want to pick up too many herbal leaves at the moment, just in case we need them. I think what we will do is just go out to this uh, wreckage and see what we can do with this one. I guess it's time that we send out. Okay. Chapter 1, Human Debris. Alone in the unknown world, you stand against the unforgiving and alien world looking for anything that remains of your crew and the fleet of the wreckage. Are you truly alone? I do may have found the answers. Proceed. Commander, I have identified a large structure not far from the broken antenna. Profile uh, profile an analysis has determined 93% to a UCH Pelican class transport. Yeah, we're not going to go there until we have got at least a sniper weapon and other things that we're going to need. Because uh, I've been caught on that one before. <laughs> if we can find what's
Let's see if we can take the top layer off and see what we can find in this one. Uh, there it is. Just there. Generally, there's only one. Well, we'll take the mechanical components. And we're just going to work our way back towards the copper over there as well. Where we've got quite a lot of... Uh, like this. And there's some space oranges there. Like that. I think the space oranges, or fruit actually. We can just eat that fruit and the vegetables. We'll take a chance on the health kits. <laughs> Um, there's some more wreckage. This wreckage. Not sure if this is wreckage or not. Well, well, just take a quick look. Sometimes you just get arbitrary things like this, and there isn't any. Oh no, it's a. Uh, Oh, another multi-tool, we'll certainly take that. Let's just get back in the direction of the skate pod. Cheap. Up the alien thorn, they don't perish. A bit more rocks. Um, I, I dig this one out. Yeah, it's got holes around it. What I should do really is set a tab for where my uh, survival kits are. Certainly don't want to lose them. There they are. Uh, the next back here. This in here. Um, can go in there. That out. Just drink that. Okay, we've got. Let's just keep knocking out the oxygen and the water. We're gonna, so what we're going to do is I'll put you there. Beneath this, just plant fiber. So, uh, yeah, we're going through quite a lot of plant fiber at the moment, which is not good. Um, Right, we oh what oh thank you game i always wanted uh, a meteorite landing on top of me we're just going to build a motorbike so that we can get around a little bit quicker and see how things go uh, let me just see uh, i wouldn't mind a tent we need some more plant fiber we need some more trees the trees are a bit far away and it's dark. Let's just see if we can find some more stuff in the general vicinity. Uh, don't don't really like wasting time uh, during this initial phase. Uh, let's keep clearing the stone. We can turn it into other things should we need it. The purple leaves. Okay, we're boot up. And the veg. And we'll just grab these rocks. Cut the tree down. this right. let's head back again um, we because uh, we haven't got plant fiber we only got um we need to make some plant fiber first so that we can make a uh, tent now the tent can be used to sleep through the night but more importantly it can be used to set up a spawn point which can be very useful if you're 
in a situation where you don't want to spawn back in an area where there might be hostiles because you can choose where you can spawn back to um grab that and back over to Opton land oh, we've got a we can make the motorbike we can does it lock out that kit put that in there and we're just lock up the plant fiber now we've got a motorbike and we'll just keep risking eating the get our health back up slowly two three of those shove that in there as well for the moment alien thorns in there when we move on i don't think we need these i think well i think i'll keep them a moment because we don't need it let's just have a sort out oh, i think generally we're okay we're plant fibers that makes eight so we need a lot more planks and bits of wood and other stuff that was a split difference with respect to that put that there put that in there okay game we're going to be here for a little while so <laughs> wrong one sorry I think we're at a point now where we can start thinking about weapons. We can't make a sniper rifle. I thought we could make a sniper rifle. Mechanical drill, shotgun. Oh. I'm sure you could make a sniper rifle in the portable constructor. Let me just have a look. Weapons. Yeah. Oh, we're not high enough yet. Submachine gun. <laughs> Do you want to make a pistol? We could make a shotgun. Well, what we really need to get to the level. The shotgun's good. I think maybe we'll we'll knock up a shotgun then. Just to do some close in defense. And we're we got enough for uh, uh, make two lots of that if we can make some more bandages no, make two more bandages case okay, so, so we've got radiation burn dermal burn Ideally, what we would I do, would like to make it from a med point of view is these. So to make this, we need alien tooths. We got alien thorns. So we to do that, we're going to need to kill the creatures to get that. We need alien tooth, plant protein, and herbal leaves. We got some herbal leaves too, which we could put in. Um, right, we need to make some other bits and pieces. Can we make? We can make a dr mechanical drill. That could be useful. The only trouble with mechanical drill is, oh, it now uses biofuel. Um, okay, well, I'll just swap it all round. Knock these out. Gives us about 50 rounds of ammunition. Um, this can go into here. Just use these up because they're probably going to perish eventually. Those up. 
turn the light on right we we need to level up so i think I think we'll go and get a little bit more iron uh, some, or we'll just go and explore, explore the surrounding area I think actually what I probably need more than anything else at the moment is is actually logs so we're just going to whoops ah don't waste my ammunition oh no right we're going to collect logs because we need lots of plant fiber one to make oxygen and also to make other some other bits and pieces so we're gonna wrap so we're gonna go i'm gonna go on a distance patrol at the moment and if we can pick up a lot a big pile of logs but keep an eye out for anything else of interest at the same time just picking up the plant protein as well but of course the thing about this is that the more you collect the more you can we need to get to that level five to get the sniper rifle there's absolutely no point going anywhere near that uh the uch vessel without a sniper rifle because we're going to be attacked by drones and the shotgun's good for close in work but it's no good against drones um, just see if there's anything else around them no. uh, we better pop up a little bit of oxygen at this a kind of double shot of oxygen now. Oh well. Oh. Oh, he nearly got us. That's the fire and breathing dragon of the arid planet. They tend to come out at night, which is one of the reasons why you've got to be a little bit careful. In fact, I didn't. I didn't build the tent. Okay, that was that was a little bit. There's another one just over there, I think. Yeah, they tend to come out at night, guys, so... Uh, you've got to be a little bit careful. There's a little bit of... Uh... Whoops. Oh, we're now level four. There's another tree... There's a little bit of um, plant fiber here. We might be able to get about eight. There's another tree just over there. I'm gonna deforest the local area. Grab right, this. We need, need a bit more plant fiber. Yes, yeah, that's, that's fine. Another tree. More plant fiber and stuff here. But, uh, go and grab that. That gives us 16 plant fiber. Uh, one of each just grab another tree uh, feed my tree obsession whoops uh, grab a, some rocks as well here we're back in the crash site which makes us reasonably safe mm. up that ammunition or some I need that tent difference um, five ah Always doing that. 
Um, no, I think two is enough for the moment. And we've got some more oxygen, more water out. Keep popping off some of this stuff into here. Uh, we'll leave one of those behind. Need some, how much is that? That's 40. That means we should be able to make a survival tent. So, uh, so we're pretty good at the moment. Um, food wise, we're good. We just need to try and get our health up a little bit. I mean, I could shoot a bandage that would give me 100 health. But I think at the moment, I'm just keep kind of sneaking in those bits and pieces. Anything else in here? We're pretty good. Out one of those. And actually, two of those. And another one of those. Because what will happen is, is that you will consume the stone. To, you can just see here. I think it's 25. Uh, to get copper ore, you need 25 stone dust, and 25 stone dust is produced from the uh, crush from ordinary stone. So we can get a little bit more in the way of resources here. So we're looking pretty good at the moment, guys. Uh, and we need to over there for a sniper rifle. I think we got to level five. Let me just check. Be brilliant if I could we could start the new day with a sniper rifle. Still not quite there yet with respect to this machine gun pistol round. Uh, not that happy with that. So we're gonna need to kind of go out and just keep collecting the stuff. We need to get to that level five. Um, and of course, what one of the nice things about the local plants here is they will oops, they will regenerate. We'll grab some more rocks. In fact, I can go and we'll grab some more of those. See what's actually we got some more. Travel leaves where well, take those gives us another hundred points. We get a hundred points for herbal leaves, I didn't know that. Okay, there's some copper here. Might as well take that. I know there's some ability to mine copper, but it's so boring when you've only got this kind of very minor tool. Let's keep grabbing alien thorns, veggies. We can make those into um, drinks, which means we can get our health back up that way. Grab that, so another 100 points. I say it's all about trying to get to level 5. Got some 112 for that. It's almost like it's a cumulative. Now, of course, one of the things you've got to be careful with respect to we dug this one out and just take a quick look oh we've got some oxygen got an antibiotic injection which is high strength short duration antibiotic injector it's good against infected wounds frostbite fever attack necosis yes well that's good we've got we've got some spoiled food now <laughs> got a feeling that came out of here now we could scrap these for the metal plates by going to salvage mode. But at the moment we don't really need vast quantities of... I mean this is another advantage of being near wreckage. We just... We're just kind of sweep out See what else is around here. That is that silicon. Well, we'll take it anyway. No pteropods I haven't seen at the moment, but that's okay. 
not the world's greatest fan of pteropods, especially when you don't have uh, offensive weapons. We'll certainly take fruit tree. Is this a berry bush? No. Well, we'll chop the bush down for some more logs. Right, we found silicon now. Six logs for that. Right, it says the UCH wreckage is over there, 1.6 kilometers away. So we don't have to go that far to be able to find it. Something tells me just over there is some plant fiber. Grab that. Grab that. Wow. I mean, we could hunt the creatures over there for some skill points, but eh, I don't really like hunting them. I mean, they're harmless. Grab that. And uh, get back onto the jolly old bike. more wreckage here which I don't think we checked out. Let's have a look. Now if I'm correctly this one we can get in from the top. I think you can. Maybe I'm wrong. Is. Uh, we got some canned meat, more oxygen, and some more antibiotic injectors. That's good. <laughs> well, we'll just pump a little bit of oxygen into there. Is that iron ore? Yep, yeah, we'll take the iron ore, bearing rock. And we should have a tent by now. Yep. Uh, and on there, that would give us a spawn point. Ooh. We'll make a couple more bandages and another one of those. Just turn it all into things that won't perish. Something just there. Apologies, it's the dark, but way it is. A bit more rock. Back on the bike. And we're heading a bit more plant protein. Never enough, never have enough energy bars. Um, some Terrible stuff. Uh, get the health back up again. Mm. Okay, I think I'll just pop a bandage. Yeah. We don't have enough plant fiber. I'm sure that um, Reforged Legion needs more plant fiber for bandages than a normal game. <laughs> so here we are. Bike back up again. You always got to make sure that you've got enough space for your bike. Um, just going to deploy the tent. Just in case we die, that means we get spawn point back to where we are. And we got some more. One, two, three. Um, one in there. More oxygen. We've got 22 oxygen now. Water. Put that in there. Shut that in there. Put that in there. Put that in there. If we put the that in. We might be able to get some. Yep. Yeah, Where that needs how many? How many of this? You need two. Um, okay. 
put that in there, that in there. We can't make some pumpkins from vegetables. We can do that. That, that gives us a little bit more health, but only four more than what you'd get if you were actually just doing it directly. Mm. All right, our health is good. Put the stone in there and keep the uh, thin beans with us because the uh, they, it doesn't perish that quick. Just eat that and we're uh, uh, eat the vegetable that gives us a full pup. Okay, we're getting cold. Ha. Right, we need the cast your mind back to when I did the intro. The temperature range was five to uh, 125 but of course when the, if you go and move away that is cold enough to affect you your suit doesn't protect you for that range in fact if i just show you here you'll find that the suit range is comfort range five percent to 45 um the comfort range is five degrees to 45 degrees to radiation so if the temperature gets down to five uh, during the night then you will start to get cold that's the reason why you need the regulator. Um, what we got here? We need five. We go one, two, three of that. Put that in there. We can turn that iron, one of those iron ores into. We we'll just stack that as well. We can see what we've got. That there fuel. Keep the antibiotic injection detector with us we need the alien tooth and the herbal leaves i think the alien tooth we got to kill something to get that but we are getting a reasonable supply of uh, what we call it um, actually let me just put that there We can make three more bandages oh, there. We reached level five yet. Nope. So how far off level five are we? Oh, we still got a lot more to go. Right, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.